Have you ever wondered about the difference between urgency and immediacy? In our everyday lives, we often use these terms interchangeably. However, in specific contexts like the medical field, they hold different connotations, each carrying its own weight and implications. Let's start with immediacy. This term suggests a need for action within a very short time frame, often within minutes or even seconds. Picture a situation where every second counts and there's no time for delay. That's when immediacy comes into play. It demands direct and swift intervention, a race against the clock with no room for intervening steps or delays. On the other hand, we have urgency. While it still carries a sense of time sensitivity, urgency operates within a slightly broader time frame. It might span hours or even a day. Urgent situations, unlike immediate ones, may allow for preliminary assessments or preparations before decisive action is taken. It's the call for quick action, yes, but it also takes into account other influencing factors, such as the severity of the condition, availability of resources, and contextual elements. But urgency isn't just confined to immediate life-threatening situations. It's a multifaceted concept that extends to medical, psychological, ethical, and sociocultural dimensions. The challenge here is to balance the need for quick action with ethical and medical considerations, especially when evidence is lacking or inconclusive. Immediacy and urgency, while they might sound similar, differ in their temporal demands for action. Immediacy requires immediate intervention, while urgency allows for a slightly more extended time frame. It's crucial to understand that while nearly all situations requiring immediate action will be urgent, not all urgent situations require immediate action. In the next few minutes, we will delve into these concepts and explore their differences and implications. We'll unpack the layers of immediacy and urgency and see how they come into play in real life situations. So stay tuned as we dive deeper into the fascinating dynamics of urgency versus immediacy. Let's begin with immediacy. What does it mean? Immediacy is a term we often hear, but do we truly understand its weight, especially in a medical context? It's not just about doing something quickly, it's about acting in the blink of an eye. Consider this, you're in a room where a fire has just erupted. You don't have time to analyze the situation, to weigh your options, or to consider other factors. You need to react immediately. That's immediacy. In a medical context, it's the same. There's no room for delays, no space for intervening steps. A patient's life hangs in the balance, and every second counts. Immediacy is characterized by the need for action within an incredibly short time frame. We're talking minutes or even seconds. It's a race against the clock, a sprint rather than a marathon. And in this race, there's no room for hesitation or second guessing. But what drives this need for immediate action? Several factors can necessitate immediate responses. The severity of a patient's condition is a prime example. Some conditions, such as a heart attack or stroke, demand swift intervention to prevent irreversible damage or loss of life. Time is of the essence, and every second that passes without intervention can significantly impact the patient's prognosis. The availability of resources is another factor that influences immediacy. In situations where resources are scarce, immediate action could mean the difference between life and death. For instance, in a mass casualty incident, Medical personnel may need to make instant decisions about who to treat first based on the severity of injuries and the availability of resources. Contextual elements can also play a role. For instance, in a battlefield or disaster zone, immediate action is often required to save lives amidst chaos and danger. Here, the principle of first do no harm might mean acting swiftly to prevent further harm, even if it means bypassing some of the usual protocols. However, it's crucial to remember that immediacy doesn't mean rushing in blindly. Even in the face of immediate need, healthcare professionals must still exercise sound judgment and utilize their skills and knowledge to the best of their ability. They must act fast, but they must also act smart. The concept of immediacy is a vital one, especially in the field of healthcare. It's a call to action, a demand for swift and decisive intervention in the face of a critical situation. It's a reminder that in certain scenarios, time is not just precious, it's life-saving. So, immediacy leaves little room for delays or preliminary steps, but what about urgency? This brings us to our next point of discussion. While immediacy and urgency are often used interchangeably, there are subtle differences that distinguish these two concepts. But that, dear listeners, is a topic for our next scene. Stay tuned. Now let's turn our attention to urgency. What differentiates it from immediacy? Well. While immediacy calls for action in the blink of an eye, urgency gives us a bit more breathing room. 
Urgency, in contrast to immediacy, allows for a slightly broader time frame for action, potentially spanning hours or even a day. While still time-sensitive, urgent situations may permit preliminary assessments or preparations before decisive action is taken. Urgency is a bit like a pressure cooker. The heat is on, but we still have time to make some adjustments before the whistle blows. It's a state where we are compelled to act quickly, but not necessarily instantly. It might be a patient experiencing severe pain or a sudden outbreak of disease in a community. These are situations that demand swift action, but they also allow for an element of planning and preparation. Now, what influences the urgency of a situation, you may wonder? Well, it's not a one-size-fits-all answer. Several factors come into play, including the severity of the condition, the availability of resources, and the context in which the situation arises. For instance, a patient with a severe allergic reaction requires more urgent attention than someone with a minor cut, owing to the potentially life-threatening nature of the former. Similarly, in a resource-limited setting, a minor ailment might take on greater urgency due to the limited availability of treatment options. Urgency is a multifaceted concept that extends beyond immediate life-threatening situations. It encompasses medical, psychological, ethical, and sociocultural dimensions. The challenge lies in balancing the immediate need for action with the ethical and medical considerations, especially when evidence is lacking or inconclusive. Evaluating a situation as non-urgent involves a complex interplay of these factors. It requires a holistic, multidisciplinary approach and should not be based solely on the absence of acute medical symptoms. The challenge lies in making this assessment in a nuanced manner especially in cases where the evidence is not clear-cut or where the patient is unable to communicate their needs effectively. Now you might be thinking, isn't immediacy just another word for urgency? Well, not quite. While it's true that situations requiring immediate action are indeed urgent, not all urgent situations require immediate action. Immediacy is about something needing instant direct action without delay beyond a few minutes. Urgency, on the other hand, is about a need for action, but within a time frame that allows for some assessment and preparation. Finally, let's touch on the precautionary principle. This is a risk management strategy often employed in situations of uncertainty, especially where there is potential for harm. It suggests that if an action or policy has a suspected risk of causing harm, the absence of scientific consensus should not be used as a reason to postpone measures to prevent potential harm. This principle can guide decisions about the level of urgency in a situation. So, urgency allows for a more nuanced approach to time-sensitive situations. But how do these concepts apply in real-life scenarios? Let's take a look in our next segment. Immediacy and urgency aren't just theoretical concepts. They have practical implications, especially in the healthcare field. In our everyday lives, we encounter many situations that require us to distinguish between immediacy and urgency. We see this in action, particularly in the medical field, where the differentiation can be life-saving. Let's delve into some real-life examples to understand these concepts better. Consider a situation in an emergency room. A patient arrives with a severe, rapidly progressing allergic reaction. This is a case of immediacy. The medical team must act within minutes, if not seconds, to administer life-saving treatment. There's no time for detailed assessments or lengthy preparations. The focus is on swift, direct action to prevent a catastrophic outcome. Now, imagine another scenario. A patient presents with sudden, severe abdominal pain. While this situation is urgent, it doesn't necessarily require immediate intervention. The medical team has a slightly broader time frame for action. They can conduct preliminary assessments, perhaps even diagnostic imaging, before deciding on the appropriate course of action. The need for action is pressing, but there's room for a more nuanced approach. These examples highlight the temporal differences between immediacy and urgency. However, it's essential to remember that urgency is a multifaceted concept. It extends beyond immediate life-threatening situations, encompassing medical, psychological, ethical, and sociocultural dimensions. For instance, consider a patient with chronic pain. The situation might not be life-threatening, but it's certainly urgent. The patient's quality of life is severely impacted, and there may be psychological and sociocultural factors at play. 
The challenge lies in balancing the immediate need for action with the ethical and medical considerations, especially when evidence is lacking or inconclusive. The ability to distinguish between immediacy and urgency becomes even more critical when resources are limited. In a busy hospital or clinic, healthcare providers must constantly prioritize their actions. Understanding the nuances between immediacy and urgency can guide these decisions, helping to ensure that the most critical cases receive attention first. Let's not forget the precautionary principle, a risk management strategy often employed in situations of uncertainty. The principle suggests that if an action, policy, or practice has a suspected risk of causing harm, the absence of scientific consensus should not be used as a reason to postpone measures to prevent potential harm. This principle is particularly relevant in urgent but not immediate situations where there's time to consider the potential risks and benefits of different courses of action. In summary, the concepts of immediacy and urgency are not just academic. They have tangible implications in our daily lives, especially in the healthcare field. They guide decision-making processes, influence prioritization, and ultimately can significantly impact patient outcomes. Remember, immediacy is about instant direct action, typically within minutes. Urgency, on the other hand, allows for a slightly more extended time frame for action, potentially spanning hours or even a day. While nearly all situations requiring immediate action will be urgent, not all urgent situations require immediate action. These distinctions may seem subtle, but they can make a world of difference. The ability to accurately assess a situation and respond appropriately is a critical skill one that can quite literally save lives. The ability to distinguish between immediacy and urgency can make a significant difference in time-sensitive situations. So why does it matter that we understand the difference between urgency and immediacy? As we navigate our way through the complex landscape of healthcare, it's crucial that we appreciate the nuances between these two concepts. While they may seem similar at first glance, understanding the subtle differences can profoundly impact how we respond to different situations. When we talk about immediacy, we're discussing a need for action within a very short time frame, often within minutes or even seconds. It's characterized by a lack of intervening steps or delays, demanding direct and swift intervention. This kind of rapid response can be seen in situations like a heart attack or stroke where every second counts and immediate action can be the difference between life and death. However, not every situation we encounter in healthcare demands such instant action. This is where the concept of urgency comes into play. Urgency allows for a slightly broader time frame for action, potentially spanning hours or even a day. While still time sensitive, urgent situations may permit preliminary assessments or preparations before decisive action is taken. This could be a patient with a high fever or severe pain. It's urgent, but there's still room for assessment and planning before action. The importance of differentiating between urgency and immediacy can't be overstated. It's the foundation for making informed decisions in healthcare. It influences how we prioritize patients in a busy emergency room, how we allocate resources in a crisis, and even how we communicate with patients and their families. Moreover, urgency is a multifaceted concept that extends beyond immediate life-threatening situations. It encompasses medical, psychological, ethical, and sociocultural dimensions. The challenge lies in balancing the immediate need for action with these ethical and medical considerations, especially when evidence is lacking or inconclusive. On the other hand, evaluating a situation as non-urgent involves a complex interplay of these same factors. It requires a holistic, multidisciplinary approach and should not be based solely on the absence of acute medical symptoms. This is where the precautionary principle comes into play, a risk management strategy that suggests if an action, policy, or practice has a suspected risk of causing harm, the absence of scientific consensus should not be used as a reason to postpone measures to prevent it. In conclusion, understanding the difference between urgency and immediacy is not just about semantics. It's about appreciating the complexity of healthcare decisions and recognizing that not all urgent situations require immediate action. It's about balancing the need for quick action with other influencing factors. And most importantly, it's about ensuring that we provide the best possible care to our patients. Remember, the right response at the right time can save lives. 
Knowing the difference between urgency and immediacy is a step in that direction.